Governor, uh, you said that this is all in the interest of public safety. Was it in the interest of public safety to use water hoses on the 20th? Well, uh, I wasn't uh, present for that, and uh, Mike, maybe you have a better speak to that. Uh, understanding of what uh, developed that particular yeah. night. The uh, fire truck was staged, and we, there was, it started with fires that, that the protesters started, um, fires on the bridge. There on the left, you see headlights and hazard signals flashing, not fires. So yes, water was used to not only put out the fires, but uh, to get protesters away from the bridge, away from uh, the dangers of being on the bridge. The dangers on the bridge were created by the Morton County Police, including freezing water, mace, tear gas, rubber bullets, and grenades. Um, it was effective. But I would offer that everybody that was on the bridge had the opportunity to leave before water was used. They weren't trapped on the bridge. They were asked to leave numerous times. Uh, they chose to stay. Um, so water was Here, you see a water protector fall face first over the barbed wire barricade and what looks like officers shooting him multiple times with rubber bullets. Finally, we find a fire, only not on the bridge, in the brush started by police tear gas canisters put out by the water protectors. Would you use it again in a similar situation in sub-freezing temperatures? If they started fires on the bridge, yes, we would use it again. Would you use it again in a similar situation in sub-freezing temperatures? If they started fires on the bridge, yes, we would use it again. 